to the next dimension. Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under with the Combat Arms Top 5 Plays of the Week, Week 137. Now if you guys want a chance to get a free missed case, just go and like the video and post your IGN in the comment section below and I'll randomly choose one person. Now coming in at number 5, we've got Curasaur on Hell's Gate, Quarantine Region. He's got M69 HE frag, goes and chucks it right in the sky. He's going to go and pick up a double kill, pulls out another nade, throws that in the sky. Fantastic, using the MZP to help him get the unbelievable. Chucking down some mine, chucking down some nades. He's going to go and get some more unbelievable plus 2 or 3 right now. Using another MZP round to go and get another unbelievable. Such a nice streak to start off the top 5 plays of the week. Securing the number 4 spot is XX Nightmare on Junkly One Man Army. He's using an LNA6A1 at the moment on a double kill. These flash scopes are insane and that ultra kill headshot was insane as well. Gonna go and pick up a fantastic swapping over the TRG. Gets an unbelievable plus. Gonna go and quick scope again. Unbelievable plus 2. It's gonna finish off the game with an unbelievable plus 3. Now the bonus clip this week is by Hyper TV. It's a little bit unique. Have a look. That clip just summarizes what the bonus clip is. Really unique, really funny to go and watch, and that edit was awesome as well. Now coming in at number three, we have got Twisties. On Power Surge SMD, he's got an AK-47. In a clan war, should I go and say. Double kill, going for the mold kill, just trying to pick that guy off, gets it through the little, little gap. Now going straight for the bomb site, there's only two people left. He's taken out the majority of the team, so 5v5, this type of game mode. He's going to go plant the bomb, his teammates go and kill each other, so, and the guy's calling retard, and I thought you shot me and shit, so, it's a 1v2 at the moment, goes and takes out one, now down to a 1v1, the odds were against him, but he's, you know, doing a bit of work now, 20 seconds left on the clock, he's got to go and delay this bomb out a little bit, sees the enemy's going to try to go for the defuse, going around from the other doorway, try to flank a Reno, and he goes and gets it, a nice ace, Five people, even with his team just in complete disarray. Fantastic clip. Now coming in at number two, we've got Y4Y4HD. On Oyrig Spy Hunt, he's got five UMPs. This is absolutely insane, but it's so good for the game mode he is. Oil Rig Spy Hunt, a lot of enemies. He's already in a multi kill. He's just swapping through all of these weapons, got extended mags on each of them. Fantastic. Gonna go and swap over the UMP SC. Unbelievable, but this is just the start. Picks up the pack. He's gonna go and get another unbelievable, unbelievable plus right now. Just seeing where all these enemies will be spawning so you can go and get them as soon as they spawn. Goes and interrupts that party. Unbelievable plus. Another unbelievable plus. Headshot. Going straight through that little ladder. Going up and getting another one. Going down and getting another one, if you know what I mean. Get another unbelievable. <laughs> and then he goes and picks up an unbelievable plus six. But coming in at number one, the clip to beat them all, is Pavel CAE on PR's S&D using the Tanker 51 in a 1v6 clutch situation. Now down to a 1v4, he's already picked up a double. Still, the enemies are flooding it. It's all permitted, they got assault rifles, he's got a sniper. He goes and gets a dead accurate shot. Gonna walk up the ladder, sees an enemy straight in his face, using the 5-7 to his advantage, shooting that guy straight in the face. He's also gonna go and pick up a multi-kill on top of that. And at the moment, it's down to a 1v1, a minute 50 on the clock. And we're going to go and fast forward this. He, he plays this really defensively. He knows he has the advantage. He's got the attacker's advantage. The enemy can only stay at one bomb site. So he does a bit of a flipperino switcherino, if you know what I mean. Plants the bomb. Now using that tango really close range, just guarding that. And sound a little bit, just trying to see where this enemy may be. It's going back and forth, back and forth. It's a really nice spot behind these boxes, gives you really good cover. However, in close range, it's going to really suck. But the Tango's really good quick scoping sniper rifle. He misses two shots. The guy's straight in front of him, but in mid-air, the guy just jumps, pew, 
Oh, just shoots him straight. That was an absolutely fantastic shot, a fantastic clip, and a fantastic week. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode of the Combat Arms Top 5 Plays of the Week. If you did, make sure to go and give it a like rating. But other than that, it's Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under. Ow. Got that, <laughs> that cold and number two clip, though.